Welcome back into Game Fanatics. Today we are continuing our Let's Play of Firewatch. I am totally engrossed in the story. Um, I am finding it very appealing. Uh, we are about to report on the medicine wheel. We are on our way to have the fire crew give me gear so I can break through that fence up at uh, Wapiti Station. Got to break through that gate somehow. So we're going to go to the scout camp down by Ruby Lake and uh, get the gear I need to get through there. Uh, it's me, Henry, and Delilah, who's up at uh, Thoroughfare Lookout. Staying out here, hanging out here in the woods, chatting, you know, just talking things through. Wow, there's an old, um, I think it's called a medicine wheel out here. Yeah, it was made by Crow American Indians hundreds of years ago. There are lots of small ones. Um, have you ever been to Medicine Wheel Monument over in the Bighorns? I sure haven't. Well, it's worth a three-hour detour on the way home in August. Uh, neat. I'll keep it in mind. It looks like I can get down to, uh... Here, the Cottonwood Creek. Ooh, it's burned down here. I found where they did the controlled burn. I can hike right through here now. Yeah, normally they wouldn't do that so close to a body of water, but I think they're extra worried about a fire jumping the river and burning up to two forks now that there's someone in it. Well, I'm extra appreciative of that. Let's see. The scout camp is southeast of the river. There should be a pond on the way. Got it. The good old code. Get this map info. I appreciate the detail of like how it's ashy inside the box because of the um, controlled burn nearby. Three Blind Rats by Richard Sturgeon. Why are all these books by Richard Sturgeon? Interesting fact. Now we got the new map info for down here. We gotta head down through Cottonwood Creek over to the scout camp. Let's want this out. Hear that? Still kind of afraid of running across the bear. Look at this tree. A ski? The hell? What happens if a controlled burn gets out of control? Someone gets fired. Ugh, are you serious? Oh, come on. That one was an honest accident. I'm not even in the mood for wordplay. That's how wound up all this shit has me. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of funny. Maybe I'll finally be able to get an axe. Cut some things up. Oh, what was that? Why can't I? I swear sometimes like stuff pops up on the screen, but then you can't see it anymore. It only happens for a second. If that's to the north, it might have been, like, me trying to look towards her lookout. Yeah, that's what it is. You see that? 
what it was is that that's the little worth, so the thoroughfare lookout's up there. I can talk to Deborah sometimes. What the hell is this? Rex snowmobile. There's some old snowmobiles out here. That's crazy. Looks like one of the poor bastards was cruising across this pond and dumped it. That was not a fun hike back to civilization. Uh, there's an old pond out here, not much more than a pile of mud. Uh, do, do you have it on your map? Ah, uh, yeah, I know where you are. Yeah, where am I? Pork Pond. There used to be a sign up for it, but, um, well, folks kept stealing it. Uh, because it's called Pork Pond? It's a good goddamn name. That sign would look great in a den, or, you know, anywhere. <laughs> Alright, here's Camp Arrowhead. Or er, Camp. Arapaho? The bridge to the camp is out. Damn. I'm gonna walk the ravine and see if I can find some high ground to get across. Good plan. They just did the controlled burn there and the bridge is out? Like, what? supposed to be here I'm at the camp great have a look around if if anyone's still there they might be able to help I'm gonna sound crazy maybe you just ask him to help you get inside the fence if I didn't know it was out there they probably don't either this place looks dead but I'll see what I can find I guess these little shelters are where they keep the weeblos. For the past 35 years, yeah. Again, Richard Sturgeon. There are bear traps out here, in the scout shelters. Scouts are stalwart prey. That's messed up. There's the Michaels. Missing person in. You ever talked to any of the scouts? Mm, no, they haven't been out here in a while, and I generally don't have a lot to say to preteens. Unless it's Brian Goodwin. Well, if forced, I mean, I can make conversation with anyone. Plus, it was sort of fun to hear about all of his nerdy hobbies. What type of nerdy hobbies are we talking about with him? There's an axe. Uh, marching band. Oh, no, 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 no. Like comics, model rockets, wizards and wyverns, you know. Ugh. Hey, thanks to Brian, I can almost recall by memory the armor classes of most dragons. The what? No, you can't. Hey, planar dragons armor class. Let's see. Okay, no, I believe you. We're good. We're good. Hmm. Hey, D, they left something behind. Squad boss Grant Carson, Wyoming Interagency Hotshot Crew, Paint Rock Ranger District. Why, Dr. Simmons at Wapiti Station, Thoroughfare Region, Squad Boss Carson. In the next few days, you and your team will be dropping into the Thoroughfare Region National Forest to cut a fire line south of Root Lake. I'm writing you on behalf of Dr. Ben Simmons. At Wapiti Station, he reached out to the superintendent with wildlife concerns about his research site. Upon your return, someone from his office will want to speak with you as part of a wildlife risk, risk assessment of the region. I told them they have nothing to worry about and that your team's fire lines are the most per potent preventative measure in protecting their site, even though they'll be more than a mile away. But I think they've got insurance companies to answer to. Thanks, as always, for your service. Interesting. It's like a memo from their boss. Does it say anything of note? Uh, next few days, dropping into the thoroughfare on behalf of Dr. Simmons at 
Wapiti Station. Wapiti Station? Holy crap. Keep reading. Oh, I just thought I would maybe, you know, stop there, let the mystery percolate. My mother always said I would meet someone who'd give me a taste of my own medicine. They're running a research site out there. Uh, he was worried about wildfires. Someone is writing down our conversations. And now we find out there's a research site out here that, that, that we don't know about? What are they researching? I mean, you and I aren't very interesting. Oh, you know, probably just horned toads. And a Wapiti Station clipboard with our conversations on it is just, what, recreation for them? I'm just messing around. Somebody is obviously up to something. Freaking out here. There's something real happening behind that fence. I think that we should consider that maybe this is all just a coincidence, but my gut says that there is something bad going on. Mine too. Okay. So what's next? Well, I've got an axe, so I can figure out a way to get over the ravine and back towards the site. Sounds good. Check in when you can, and keep an eye out for anyone following you. All right. I, I had a thought. Let's hear it. You heard someone in the bushes. Yeah. Okay, so let's assume we're being tailed. Or you are, at least. Where are you right now? Just on my way back, in and out of trees in the middle of nowhere. Do you see anybody? No, definitely not. Uh, right. Now I'm going to be constantly so, looking behind uh, myself. just cough? No. Did you just cough? No. Oh, oh fuck. fuck. Um, there isn't any way someone, like, another lookout could be on this line, is there? No. Not without tapping our radios. Get in your tower. Shut the door. Don't leave and don't use your radio. I'll call you. Understand? I will call you. Okay. Thoroughfare Tower, this is Two Forks calling you for the, oh, 50th time today. The Flapjack Fire continues to move in a southerly fashion. Delilah, for fuck's sake, answer your radio. Hello, sunshine. Sorry, went out for a little bit. What can I do you for? Are you kidding right now? Did you not stay up all night knowing that someone is... I actually slept just great. Uh, okay. By the way, I was wondering if your flora of the Shoshone info poster was still up inside your tower? What? It's just protocol that those stay up. You know, info about your tower, the surrounding tree species, etc. Uh, uh, all right. Just, you know, have a look at it. Make sure it's in ship shape. Okay, yeah, it's up. Why are you acting like this? Great. Just wonderful. Do you see the tree in the top row, second from the left? Yep. Let me look at it, and I'll tell you. No. You don't need to tell me. Just, um, internalize it. it it's a great tree. And there's an area called, um, that tree's name in your sector that maybe you should take a midday hike to. Maybe. Um, which tree am I supposed to internalize again? Top row, second from the left. Head to a place named after that tree, and you'll have a wonderful afternoon. There's Cottonwood. Cottonwood Creek? So she wants me to head back to Cottonwood. It's getting smoky up here. Does she want me to head back towards Cottonwood? Uh, 
wrong path. I gotta head this way. Alright. Head this way. Yeah, that makes sense. Wonder if there's a ravine down here by me. I'm just waiting for the music to start once I get close to the cottonwood. I suspect it will. That's down on this southern loop. Can I go down from here? It's like it. Intentionally taking this way to get down there so I can check out this supply drop or supply crate. Hey, finally, something from somebody else, Jane Eyre. And we got Richard Sturgeon, one chance to die. Richard Sturgeon, Terminal 7. And Terrence L. Greenbrier, the accidental survivor. Is that what that TV show's made up based off of? Or no. Lending Library. Map this. It looks like I can use this way to get down to Cottonwood Creek. Ron really wished the powers that he could issue us radios that didn't suck ass. Most of the time, I'd prefer to keep things pen to paper, but every once in a while, it'd be nice to get a hold of you right away. My sister keeps leaving me messages at the main office, but I don't think she gets that I took a, the job so I wouldn't have to deal with her or mom. I've been sitting at the spot for a while now, thinking about what to say to her. But I'm a quarter way through a bottle of fives instead. I see you, Dave. Man, Ron, Ron and Dave had quite the life, huh? Alright, so we're gonna cut through here, yep, and head right to Cottonwood. What's over here? Why'd she send me out here?
that noise? So as far as I can tell, I went through, I just walked through Cottonwood. Yeah, I'm here. Uh, I'm here at Cottonwood Creek. You see the cash box there? Uh, it must be around here somewhere. Oh, okay, I gotta it look is. for the cash box Find again. It and open it. I changed the code. It's five six seven eight. Are you kidding me? I was in a rush. I'd she go all the way down here though. Ah, new radio. Interesting. I've got it now. Good. I spent all day getting you that radio. I hiked to a cash box, lied to a ranger, lied to another ranger, and hopefully you are now holding a clean, untapped radio. Hopefully. Holy fuck, Henry. We have to get into that site. Whatever these people are doing is illegal, right? Are you okay? I don't know, Henry. People have been listening to us all summer. How is this actually happening? I don't know. I, I, I'm, I'm scared. Here's the music. None of it makes any sense. Are there any other lookouts this is happening to? Someone else in on this? Anyone? <sighs> is fine are you sure yes i've tried to bring it up to chimney rock elks fork and beartooth lookout and every one of them got confused asked me if i'm okay and if i need to be relieved our fucking state coordinator asked if i was just having lady troubles so no this isn't happening to anyone else and i'm done asking look i'm headed back to the gate and now that i've got an axe we'll know something soon you need to get into that site. Call me when you find something. All right, well, this is going to take a while to walk back all the way over there. We are going to cut up this way back towards lookout first. I think if I head up to my lookout, then go straight to the canyon. That'll be easier to head over there. Super weird though that uh, all summer this there was this hidden station. I don't know how they won't catch on to the fact that we swapped radios, though, when they never hear from us again. Hey, uh, I just thought of something not, um, not great. What is it? filed a report that said that neither of us ever talked to or saw those girls, the ones that went missing a few weeks back. Why did you do that? What? Why would you do that? I told you to say the minimum and just keep it vague. I know. And I didn't. I, I, I just didn't want to be hassled. And now someone probably has a transcript of that entire conversation. And I've filed a report that's a blatant lie. Oh, and those girls are still missing. Yep. Fuck, Delilah. Fuck, indeed. We really need to get to the bottom of this. So we're on the right way to head to the canyon. We just gotta split to the right and then follow it along until we get to Jonesy Lake.
Maybe we'll get there. Get to the bottom of this. And those, the rays of light coming through the trees is just beautiful. The game is visually quite enjoyable. Where'd this path lead me to? Am I go in the wrong way? Yes, I am. It, this is why I checked the map. I gotta turn right. Did I open this box? I assume I did. I grab myself a granola bar though. Yummy. Oh, I can clear this trail. Have I not been this way before then? Guess not. Just gotta follow along the canyon until we get to the lake. You know, I really thought Firewatch would have something to do with fires more than it has. And we had the, the campfires, the two of them that we've stomped out. We had the one fire that happened, Flapjack fire. But, uh, besides that, it's been more of a mystery with what's going on at that, uh, station. You know nothing about. We will get to the bottom of it now that we have the tools to break in there. We are about halfway down the canyon. <sighs> also about halfway through this video. If you have watched through this far, please make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Appreciate it. And uh, yeah, let's continue. Yeah. Huh. Huh. Oh no. There's multiple different sounds he makes while climbing rocks. Yeah, now the audio design in this game is actually quite good. Way you can hear the water in the little riverbed, the wind blowing over the canyon. So can I just head up this way? Yes, I can.
down here? Yeah, I guess it is. stones. I'm go ahead and cut this tree down now. I just want to make sure I have that pathway available to me uh, when I go to run out, run out of this place. I have to stop and cut a tree while I'm running from the feds. Breaking into this no trespassing station. Here we go. <coughs> station personnel. If you are trying to reach Dr. Simmons, he is on site from August 15th to October 15th. University-owned equipment is the responsibility of Dr. Johnson, so it's university research. Government-owned equipment is under purview of Cat Ferdinand. Remember, this is a controlled area and any issues, malfunctions, or violations should be reported immediately. is this bridge? <laughs> Why am I going in here at night? Seems like a terrible idea. What's that noise? Music's got me like enthralled what it's doing. What the hell, it's just an antenna. Monitoring tower. Okay, I'm at the site. I don't see anybody around. Lucky for us. Yeah, lucky for us. D, there is some serious comms equipment out here, wireless stuff. What do you mean? I'm talking a big, 20-foot-tall transmission tower. I mean, they could probably listen to whoever the hell they want. They're nestled down in this valley, which makes it impossible for you or any lookout to see them. The hell is this? all sorts of contraptions and shit out here. Like what? Dishes and stuff on metal legs. There are wires all over the place. I don't know. I'm not really up on high tech. I think I found the thing they used to track us. You know, you swear, like, a lot. Not the time, Hank. Anyway, it's called a wave receiver. Looks like it picks up anything that emits a signal. It's got basic orienteering capabilities, everything. Holy... Holy shit, Henry. Yeah, holy shit. You're gonna take it, right? 
Yeah, of course. Okay, this thing is losing its mind, beeping like crazy. I can hear it. What, what's it after? I don't know. I'm gonna go find out. Oh boy. Subjects Henry and Delilah. Henry M, age 39, program status review 10 weeks. Observational traits, comprehensive explorer keeps the path. Prone to anger, passive. Guilty, forthright, guarded, subject over you. Subject is fully engaged supervisor. Trust yet to be specific, scientifically proven. All sides point towards full cooperation, update. Subject may be aware of tests. Suggest we disengage if subject decides to leave this post. Acceptability to manipulation, 9 out of 10. Supervisor sign off, e.g. What's here? What do they say? Their assessments about the two of us. Subject Delilah A, age 43. Program status review, annual. Observational traits. Reliable considering alcoholism. Observant, charismatic, selfish, skewed perception of personal history. Pertinent, observed facts. Never married, no kids, rarely hikes or leaves immediate surroundings. Multiple lovers despite long-term partner named Javier. Susceptibility to manipulation, three. S stuff in here about Julia. Like what? Stuff I didn't tell you. This is... What, what does it say about me? You said there was one about me. And it looks like they've been following me around. What I do when I'm out hiking? Jesus! Henry, do you hear me? It says that you, you and your boyfriend are still together. What? We're not. They're messing with us. Yeah, uh, okay. They are. How do they even know who he is? How the hell does this... I'm so sick of letting these people do this to us. We should just burn the place down. Think about it. Worst case scenario... Look, maybe that's what they want us to do. What do you mean? M maybe they're trying to push us to the point where we do something crazy. I mean, the grass is dry as hell here. It would go up in a second. Well, now I'm thinking, what if you're right? I, I just don't think we should do anything that we can't undo. Well, maybe it's not the best idea. Yeah, it's definitely not the best idea. Ah, so fucking wound up! Look, it's all right. I'm just going to hike back. We have the wave receiver and tomorrow we can figure out what to do. Hey. This is, uh, definitely creepy. I'm not sure... I found a main monitoring desk. You should get out before they come back. All of their stuff is here. Figure out what that thing does and then get the hell out. Yeah. Now they're doing something with the soil out here too. It's all gridded off. <sighs> Who knows what else they're up to? Alright, time to get out of here.
I feel like I'm playing the forest right now with the pacing of this music and the situation. It's like somebody's after me. That's what it feels like. Oh, come on. Whoa. The hell was that? from north of Jonesy Lake. That is suspiciously close to where you just were. Do you see it? Yeah. Jesus, okay, yeah, I see it. What the hell happened to you? It's definitely not the best idea. It wasn't me. <sighs> what do we do? We just call it in like any other fire. And what about who started it? What about them? Uh, the person who started it? Yeah. We're talking about people watching us out here who are now burning the forest and everything in it around us. I, I, I don't know what to do about that. Except get the hell out. Yes, get us the hell out of here. I will. Okay. Who is listening to us? Interesting. I now have conspiracy theory stuff going on. This receiver just picked something up. Like a signal? It's going beep beep. Yeah, what could it be? I don't know. You gotta find out. Alright, I'm on my way now. You know what I just picked up? Uh, no. A fifth of Major Bueno tequila from the creek. Are you drunk? No! I am getting drunk. Good plan. I'm a good planner. My thinking is I could stay up all night worried I'm going to lose my job because of the side fire, or I could not worry and let the chips fall where they may. It's not like there's any proof we were down there. My thinking is I'm going to follow this wave receiver. Ay, ay, ay. I'll just leave you alone with whatever these thoughts are. Southwest of here. It's probably down by the medicine wheel, I guess. Seems to be the direction, right? Yeah, southwest, medicine wheel. How do I get over there, though? I go down and around. I don't even like holding this thing. Did I pass it? over here. Did 
the hell? Oh, what the hell? What? Ah. It had an alarm on it, too. Key to the cave? It is. D, I, I found some sort of supply bag, light camping gear, some clothes, you know, basics, but it was alarmed. I think that's what was making the receiver go haywire. You're okay? It's not a trap or anything? Yeah, I'm fine. But there's, there's also a set of keys here. I don't know why they'd be hidden out here. They say Shoshone National Forest, Cave 452, is that the one in the canyon? Yeah, it is. <sighs> Who the hell took them? And what the hell is in that cave? Okay, okay, let's just think. Says the woman with a half a bottle of tequila in her belly. Maybe they're panicking and we're preparing to beat it. The fire has them spooked and we have new walkie-talkies, so we have the upper hand. Yeah, well, it's hard to feel like you have the upper hand when you're standing in the dark in the middle of the woods. Oh, well, you're back in your tower. Maybe you need a drink, too. I'm not in my tower. I am looking at a man standing in your lookout. And it's not you? It is not me. Oh my god, go. I'm going. Right here. No way they can get out of my lookout before I get there. Oh, it's in my tower. What? Nobody in here. Oh, Walkman. The hell? How'd they get out of there? Oh my god. tape of us talking down at the site. It sounds like it was recorded from somewhere nearby. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, and it sounds like we were the ones who burned it down and that it was your idea. No. We are screwed. No! Dee, just don't freak out, okay? Don't freak out. Oh my god, what the fuck is happening, Henry?! I think she freaked out. It's going to be okay. We haven't done anything wrong. Someone claiming to be Henry in Two Forks called a lookout in another sector early this morning and said that I knew what caused the Wapiti Meadow fire. Um... So, I just got off the horn with that lookout who's wondering what I know, or that I'm an arsonist, or that I'm fucking losing it. Furthermore, I bet you don't have the only tape of us from last night, so someone has evidence to back it up. We need to find out what someone's been keeping in that cave. I'm going down there now. We don't have a lot of time left out here, and if we don't find some fucking answers, when they lift us out of here, it's gonna be in handcuffs. We just, we have to stick together, okay? Keep our story straight. From the first day with those girls, to the person breaking in on our conversation, everything. We just, we gotta be honest and consistent. Yeah, I suppose you're right. Whoa, the flapjack fire isn't going anywhere, huh? No, that's why those guys came out to burn that line. It's at the stage where all we can do is pay attention to it. They're not gonna try to put it out? Not yet, apparently. Alright, so we gotta go back to that cave. Which is down there. We gotta go out past the urinal. The outhouse, Okay.
I just want to say I am so intrigued by this game. Yeah, we should be able to figure out how to get down from here. make that call, right? To, to the other lookout. It just stuck in my car. I, I let myself imagine how fucked I would be if you'd been lying to me. But now that I asked, I kind of just wish I hadn't. Of course I didn't. No way. They're just, they're trying to pit us against each other. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. That's not gonna happen, though. Thanks, Henry. Made it to the cave. And I am going to call this one here, guys. Uh, next time, we will head into that cave. I don't know why I always yawn at the end. But, yeah, next time, we hang into cave 452 to uh, explore what is being kept in there for the last, like, three years. I think they said it's been locked and key lost but we have the key uh so thank you so much for watching guys and i will see you next week